You know, in all of this excitement, I completely forgot that there was a brand new Outbreak mode. And much like that one Halloween event, I do like how we had the ability to choose between two different maps when we started. I think for the next iteration of Outbreak, Treyarch, I would absolutely love to see some sort of map selector for the next round. But anyway, talking about this mode, I believe we only have like 10 minutes to uh, exfil out of this collapsing pocket of uh, Outbreak. And we do, of course, have the tier three weapon here because of the super Easter egg. We've got these anomalies here, okay. And I decided to go with the Fara because I feel like the Fara is one of the, well, I guess people know it's good, but I just don't see a lot of gameplay with people playing with the Fara. So I think I'm gonna make my way to some of these anomalies here. Cause if I recall correctly, those are the only ways you can upgrade your stuff. Cause the last time we got something like this, we had the uh, jack-o'-lanterns and stuff, which really just increased the pace of how you upgrade stuff. So I wonder how they're gonna give us all of these different levels of salvage and points and stuff for our perks. Oh, isn't there like an Orda? Yeah, there's an Orda right there. The blog post mentions something about the Orda. I wonder if that's where we're going to have to exfil and have to kill him. That'd be kind of cool. So far, though, there's nothing really crazy happening. There does seem to be an increased spawn rate of these zombies, and they all seem to be like aggravated. Like you can see the ones way over there are still running at me. Oh, okay. So we got some points in salvage. We can upgrade our stuff. I think I'm gonna pack punch my gun first. Or do I go with perks? Ooh, I might go with perks. Yeah, I'm gonna go with perks. I'm gonna do dead shot and death perception for more damage and more um, salvage. I do like the fact that all of the zombies are automatically aggravated on you. I feel like that's a change I just wanna see in normal outbreak, honestly. But I gotta say, so far there's really nothing different about this. Kinda waiting to see if there's gonna be like boss zombies with different drops and aether tools and stuff. Don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this or if I'm doing anything wrong. All right, with that round changed, we got Juggernaug and PhD. Other than the Orda, which I don't know if I'm supposed to kill or not, I don't see any like secondary objectives that you can do to get more points. I cannot kill this Plague Hound. Okay, that worked. That was bizarre. All right, we're going to level up our armor all the way since I already have a purple gun. And I think I'm going to farm up some kills here so I can get a pack punch level two weapon. And I think I might go try to fight that Orda. All right, we're going to our last anomaly. We've only got two minutes left. We're going to change the world tier here in like 12 seconds. All right, it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough points for triple pack, but that should be okay. Actually, no, there is one more world difficulty that I can survive. But honestly, so far, I mean, I might have to try fighting the Orda, but overall, this is kind of boring. Now, if normal Onslaught had zombies coming at you like this amount, honestly, that'd be pretty cool. All right, last one. We can triple pap this guy. We can get uh, that. We can get Tombstone. Let's get some new armor and we can exfil now between all of those world upgrades i do feel pretty geared up i've still got a lot of salvage and a lot of i guess not a lot of points left over but enough points to get set up but i think the problem is is that the way you get points and this is a problem i think with outbreak as well as vanguard zombies the best way to get points is by completing objectives and surviving the world rounds which incentivizes everything except killing zombies which is like my favorite thing about zombies is killing zombies. So I want to kill zombies and be rewarded for it, but that's not what happens here. All right, here we go. We got to deal with the Megaton. Oh yeah, this gun is more than capable. Got a Mimic, a couple Manglers, I think. We got two minutes, we're good. 16 Hostiles, yeah, we're good. Let's split this Megaton, there we go. And this Farah is pretty good. All right, so we just have these bosses left. Oh, never mind. we just have these two guys left. We're gonna test the storm these guys. I love doing this to Megatons. Oh, it's so much fun, so good. Awesome, cool, Napalm Burst. Look at all these things that I don't even need. Awesome, let's go, let's get out of here okay well that was i like the idea of this game mode i like how fast it is i mean that took 13 minutes. The pacing's really good. I love how the zombies are constantly running at you. Like I said, I would love it if regular Outbreak worked that way, but not gonna lie, it kind of felt boring because it felt like all you were doing was surviving until the next round where you got the more points and more salvage. I want to be in charge of how many resources I gather. And I think that's a problem, like I said, with Outbreak as well as Vanguard Zombies. Like I said, I like how you can choose between the two here. I think that's really cool. Overall, I think it's pretty inoffensive. The past couple years between Outbreak and Vanguard Zombies, I've liked the concepts that they've come up with. I think there's a way to do objective-based zombies right. I just 
don't think I like the implementation that they have right now. And I have to admit, I have no idea how easy that would be if I didn't have the tier three weapon from the start. Maybe I would have to sacrifice that last tier of armor, making it a little bit more challenging. I don't know. Have you guys played this game mode? What do you think of it? Let me know by commenting below or joining the Discord. Also, I just want to make a quick shout out. YouTube did something crazy with my last couple of videos, just promoting them super well. We got a ton of views and a ton of subscribers. So hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you want to check out one of my videos that YouTube personally picked out for you to experience, go ahead and click on that video right there. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Call of Duty Philosophy. And as always, stay beautiful.